Hey what's going on guys, I'm Marcus Baldwin, I'm an intern here at PHS and one of my side projects was to make this documentary which explains how this particular internship has caused me to take great interest in both archival and librarian work. Even though my internship here was great, the main project that I'm assigned to which is related to Congolese Presbyterians has caused me to pay close attention to both detail and order in any given collection. This is going to be set up in a series of short question interviews with only a few members of PHS staff and faculty to kind of give a sense of, you know, what kind of important jobs are needed in making a successful archive function. So, let's go. Well, now we're on our way to Anami Jenny, who's the reference archivist here at PHS. She's in charge of answering the questions that come in from various institutions to independent researchers. When visiting an archive, one has to be mindful of the intellectual property that the facility contains. What's cool about working in an archive is that you never know what you're going to uncover until you do. Hey, what's going on, guys? I, as I'm here with Jenny, who's the reference archivist here at PHS. So what is your position here at PHS? Well, my title is Technical Services and Reference Archivist which means I work in two different departments here. I, um, the work that you and I have been doing together is oh, yes. in technical services. I process collections and uh, that means going through and arranging things physically and then creating lists and guides so that users know what's in the collections. Ah. And then the other part of my job is in reference and I work in the reading room and I answer questions uh, both from in-person, in-house researchers, people who come in to work in the archives, and uh, people who call on the phone and send emails. Oh, cool. All right, all right, so, all right. Oh, and I forgot, a big part of what I've been doing is working with the Community College of Philadelphia project. <laughs> so we've received a grant from the Pew Center for Arts and Heritage to um, work on a project with the Community Community College of Philadelphia where we bring classes in to work in the archives using some of the materials we have here. Oh. And one of the other things we have through that grant is internships. Oh, and that's yes. why you're here. Uh, yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so this so is Jenny. Here we go. Uh, question one. So what is your position here at PHS? Okay, um, so my official title is um, Public Services Associate. Um, what this means is that I work with our Public Services Department oh. to help um, in answering reference questions. We answer hmm. over 300 um, reference questions a month. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so I assist with that. Um, I also assist with um, fulfilling any of our paid um, public services, like um, when people request records, uh, genealogy records, biographical information, I help with that um, and that's all on the public services side uh, I am also um, e you know part of a team that manages our social media mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we manage three different accounts at the moment we have a Facebook Twitter and Instagram oh and we also have a YouTube channel awesome. um, and me and my colleague Kristen we basically keep the social media going up, between the two of us up. all right all right all right where did you go to attain your master's uh, so my undergraduate degree is from Spelman College oh. and my master's degree is from the University of Maryland. So, four. so, uh, so along with obtaining your master's, so what necessary skills did you pick up along the way to receiving your master's? Hmm. Um, that assists me in this job uh, uh, yes. here? Okay. Um, so one of the things that I, I mean, I think what's different for me than a lot of the other folks here is mm. that my master's is in history. Oh. Um, you know, I don't have an archivist uh, degree, um, but I've spent a lot of time working in archives. Mm. And so what that brings to the table is that um, I'm very familiar with the process of doing research mm. um, because I've done master's level of research on my master's thesis. Ah, um, yes. And so I've traveled to a few different archives um, throughout the country mm. and you know I've even done some work in archives in different countries uh, and so that means that I have a good understanding of the type of questions that researchers are going to have, right. the type of things that researchers want to know, how to find records and all that. So I think that's a strength that I bring to it. Okay. Cool. All right. Awesome. Awesome. All right. All right. Okay. Well. well, well. All right. All right, guys. Well. Well. That was the. What well, I was the Q and A with Sonia. Uh, again. Thank you so much. You're welcome. What is your position here at PHS? I'm the cataloging and metadata librarian. Oh, cool. 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 My title is records archivist. So, oh, so most of my work is um, accessioning. About oh. a third of the time, um, I'm the person who's 
responsible for grabbing stuff off of the freight elevator, oh. uh, doing a quick description of it, oh, getting cool. that in the database, and getting stuff on the shelf. Oh, cool. um, because the lion's share of the work that we do for the denomination is um, to take in records of congregations and mid-councils of the church, um, I'm, I've kind of wandered into being the person who uh, gives training in archival stuff <laughs> to <laughs> congregations and presbyteries. I'm responsible for writing descriptions of the books that go into our online library catalog, um, which are probably familiar to a lot of people listening from um, when they look things up in their online, you know, their public library or their school library, you get a description of the book. So I create those. Um, and then I also advise on metadata issues in other parts of the institution, like our um, team that creates and digital images for Pearl, our digital repository, and describes it, help those guys out and advise them on like, you know, how best to describe the images or um, moving images or sound recordings that we're putting into Pearl. Question three, uh, where did you go to obtain your masters? I have, uh, just like everybody on this floor, I have two master's degrees. I have an MFA in painting from Indiana University in Bloomington. Um, and I did my Master of Library Science at uh, Kent State. So where did you go to obtain your Master's? Uh, I went to Drexel University in Philadelphia. From your uh, transformation to uh, getting your Master's, what necessary skills did you pick up along the way? Um, I'm honestly not sure that oh, oh, any, okay. any of the work in my Master's program in Library Science prepared me for this work here. Oh. Um, we had a class called uh, DAX Mark and EAD, which delved heavily into describing archives a content standard, which is the content standard we use to describe archives, <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and its relationship to the metadata structure standard, MARC, which we use, which Gabriella uses extensively for bibliographic description, oh. and then EAD, which is encoded archival description. It's the XML-based standard for publishing archival description um, in online tools and uh, archival management systems. That was like the one class that was definitely um, useful for archival work. Oh gosh, um, so cataloging has a lot of rules. It's a very rule-based, it's a very rule-based work. Um, so right, we want to be consistent mm. so that one person cataloging this library is doing it pretty much the same way as somebody in a library across the country so that you can share information. Um, so there are a lot of rules. Mm. Um, so cataloging class is really important um, to get your sort of your first introduction to the rules that you're going to use to catalog materials. Um, and then once you become a cataloger on the job, you, you pick up more and more knowledge. But I would say that like cataloging one and two were really critical um, to me getting the grounding I needed to start as a cataloger. All right. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. It was a challenging yet creative job to do. I want to give a shout out to everybody who took the time to answer my questions during the interviews and especially to Kristen Gatos who served as the technical piece as part of the project. I mean without her I would have been stumped on this whole thing. Also for those who are interested our social media and YouTube channel are right down here. But seriously thanks for watching and I'll see you later.